All right, what is up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to make slopes in Game Maker. As you can see, you can walk up and down these slopes and jump on them, and it's pixel perfect collision. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It uses a create event, a step event, and an end step event, and a collision event. Your, your platform collision code has to go in the step event because it has to happen after the collision with the platform or whatever colliders you're using. And make, you have to make sure that all of your colliders are checked solid. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to get in, I'm gonna show you guys how to program this real quick. It's actually not that complicated at all. You could probably just copy it down as you look at it. Um, it actually works with any kind of colliders or any kind of shape, solid shapes. As you can see, I have drawn a collider for the floor sprite you saw in the example of the game that I'm currently making. You can pretty much draw anything you want and it will collide with it accurately. I'm going to show you guys how the uh, step event works. It actually uses move to contact solid, which is why I told you guys to use solids. But here's the code. Essentially what it does is it moves the player up, then to the right, then down using slope and speed. The slope value is what detects the abnormal surfaces and the speed is what moves you across the surface. Now, as you can see, I used slope times two and I didn't use that at the beginning of the code for the first move to contact solid. That's because when it's moving down or at 270 degrees, I want it to move down faster because I want to make sure that the gravity doesn't make the player float off of the plat off of the diagonal surface, if you understand what I'm saying. So the player will stick to the platform accurately. Slope is set to 10 and speed is set to 2. And they're both local variables on the object. And here is the collision event for the platform or for any solids you have. It's really simple. It's just two code. It's just two. It's just two lines, or two two arg or two variables. I'm sorry. It sets your V speed to zero, and it moves you 270 degrees or down with a maximum distance of 12. And this happens after the end step. This way the player does not get stuck in the floor because if you put it in a step or a begin step, the player would get stuck. Um, that's essentially it. It's not really that complicated. Uh, you could just copy it down verbatim and it should work. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, probably with my game. Mm -hmm.